Hi, I'm Angela Godwin with Water and Wastewater International Magazine and Aquatech TV. We are coming to you this week from Amsterdam, and we're speaking with Herr Bergkamp, who is the Executive Director of the International Water Association. Herr, thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. Now, uh, we have going on uh, just down the hall here the Amsterdam International Water Week. What is IWA's involvement in that event? IWA is an organization that is uh, present in more than 120 countries. We are behind the technical program of the conference. Mm -hmm. And so we help to bring the best of the best together from our members, which are the leading professionals of water around the world. Excellent. Now, there are, there are a lot of events out there, a lot of conferences. Why Amsterdam International Water Week? What is so unique about this event? Well, you see there's around us a huge development in water, which is demanding building more sustainable and resilient cities and to be part of creating a circular economy. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't happen in a day or a night. So this conference and the Aquatech bring together the best of the best to look at what can we do to put that in place. Right. Now you mentioned the circular economy and with that resilient cities. What are some of the major challenges here that we are really trying to um, take a look at? What you see around the world is that cities are growing rapidly. Mm -hmm. So how do you actually build the services and supply the services that people need in the future? Is that the same as in the past? Or do we need to have something fundamentally different? That's one of the big debates. And of course, we know that a lot of coastal cities will take the brunt of the early challenges with climate change, increasing uh, weather events. And so again, here we're discussing and debating what do you do to adapt quickly, rapidly, and sustainably. Right, exactly. Now, going forward, um, what can we look for out of uh, the IWA in terms of events or um, any other kinds of initiatives going forward that will ad address this Resilient Cities challenge? In IWA, we organize a lot of more specialized conferences. Mm -hmm. So when you dig even deeper, what are the technologies that you're needing? Mm -hmm. What are the approaches that are there to, for reuse? And what are the leading edge nanotechnologies that we can to have breakthroughs? So that's part of what IWA does. On the other side is, what are the approaches to building a wider momentum behind the water transformation agenda. Right. And IWA's World Water Congress next year in Australia will be one of those events that sets the scene for building the future. Excellent. Well, we will be watching that very closely and wishing you the very best of luck going forward. Her, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you very much. For Aquatech TV and Water and Wastewater International Magazine, I'm Angela Godwin.